Hi, everyone. I'm Scott Hoke. Welcome to highlights of our coverage from the Mecham Las Vegas auction held at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And this is a very rare car, one of 476 71 GTOs that were, was built with the 455 HO and a four speed. And they were proud of it. You see that WC code, you look at those free flowing exhaust manifolds. That was all part of that 455 HO package. Is he going to do it? Nope. Wow, still strong money and a terrific bidder battle there. All right, at I'm going to make 177.5. Big money potentially next for uh, a 2019 Corvette. And that's what happens when you take a ZR1, which is already super desirable, <laughs> and you pump that up as Hennessy is wont to do from time to time. Well, just in case 755 horsepower from the Chevrolet Corvette factory, Bowling Green, Kentucky, in a one-year only 2019 ZR1, Hennessy takes it to 1,000 horsepower. Top speed per Hennessy with the automatic transmission. This one has 230 miles per hour. And Jimmy Landis, control of that gavel and podium and deal, just sold that 2019 Hennessy Corvette for $180,000. 1985 Di Tommaso Pantera GT5S. What's the story on this one, Professor? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this is, you know, one of the several evolutions of the Di Tommaso Pantera over the years. From the original version we saw from the early 1970s, you could see, you could see that it, started to get kind of a wide-body look. The interior got a little more finished and plush. Still carrying a 351 cubic inch Ford V8 mid-engine with a five-speed manual transaxle. That stayed constant into this generation. And being into the 80s, kind of that high wing look started to get in vogue. So that has been added to this GT5S. 200 pounds in, 205. Hold on. What, Ryan? Oh. So, $200,000 sold, $200,000. Well, I mentioned potential for big money. Did you anticipate two hundred grand on this oh, yeah. car? Oh, yeah, abs yeah. absolutely. No surprise there. I think it brought right on the money. Okay. So, put that in the books. Two hundred grand. The reserve is off on this 06 Hummer H1 at $210,000. And as the gavel drops right now, no surprise, Scott. Odometer reading just a little over 10,000 miles. One of seven that was built in this particular configuration. And, of course, these are powered by that 6.6-liter Duramax turbo diesel V8. And here we go. First time on a Mecham auction block for a 2023 Challenger SRT Demon 170. The big question mark is... How high is it going to go? Well, and that's going to be the question, guys. Let's go back to 2015. I remember it vividly. Calling the action at Amica Auction. We saw the first Hellcat powered Challenger to cross the block. It was a whopping 707 horsepower. 2015. Still impressive, but nothing like this one year only 2023 Dodge Challenger Demon 170 at 1,025 horsepower. 225. Uh, all right, Frank's going to work. Now Frank Meekham goes to the consigner. And the reserve is off. Here so we go. questions are being answered very quickly here. So Mark it up. First time we've seen it. 225000 bucks. Here is 170, number two, J.K. End of the line, and they went out with a way that shocked the world. This will go down in history as the most potent muscle car ever. 1,025 horsepower out of that 6.2-liter Hellcat engine. They're all automatic transmissions. Uh, tore red in color and only 18 miles on the odometer. Here's the thing, J.K. Yesterday's car was black. This one's red. Yeah. Everything else being equal. Does that make a difference? Well, both great colors in the collector car world. Not yeah. sure how the how the options uh, match up between the two cars, but they are both 
essentially delivery mile, yep. brand new Demon 170s. So, there you go. On the telephone, Scott, $210,000. This, in fact, a licensed Eleanor, as you see, 1967 Mustang. Another showstopper, 429 cubic inches. More about that in a moment with an old school top loader four speed. All right, let's take a look at that. That is a custom built by Wayne's Engines of Riverside, California with fuel injection. That is a lot of technology on that setup to make that work and play. Go, baby, go nitrous button on that shifter. Carol Shelby signature in there with 429. Typically we see this with a 428 or a variety of other engines. There's a nitrous oxide bottle in the back. All right, well that was one wild situation there, but $235,000 for that Eleanor replica. Next up on the block, this is a Mustang Resto mod, in fact, another Eleanor Tribute Edition. A little bit different than the one we saw previously that sold for 235, Professor. Well, the biggest difference, Scott, is in the way that they have selected the powertrain. Mm -hmm. The basic Eleanor kit and colors and overall presentation is pretty similar. But instead of that uh, big block 429 that was heavily modified, this has got a 450 horsepower Ford Performance 347 stroker motor, oh, Stephen, really? right up your alley. Well, that's yep. fun. With a Holley 600 CFM carb and a four speed. So, 200 and Well, two Eleanor replicas, both of them gavel for $235,000. Okay, uh, this is the Corvette that I was kind of getting all worked up about. It's one of the C8 monsters here, JK, brand new Z06. Yeah, just a little over 1,200 miles on it, so it's kind of been broken in a little bit. This is the automotive sensation. Uh, uh, Ward's Best Engines just awarded this engine, the 5.5 liter, 670 horsepower flat plane crank engine that's mid-mounted in this car as one of the 10 best engines for 2023. It's just been announced. This has also got, on top of the Z06, the Z07 Ultimate Performance Package. You see the big wing. It's got the Brembo ceramic brakes, the special uh, Michelin tires, uh, upgraded suspension. That's about a $9,000 option there alone. All reserve right, we're is gonna, off. Yeah, we're going to sell it. $240,000. No surprise there. Reserve is off. It's ladies' night tonight, man, in yeah. a Z06, huh? Party on, Wayne. How about this one? Uh, no doubt on a 2022 Lamborghini, maybe the ultimate Aventador, and that's in the name. Uh, it's LP784 Ultima. Brand spanking new, 100 miles on it. Only 350 of these were built. How about that flat green exterior? It almost looks military or stealth-esque. Yep, happy Veterans Day. There you go. Yeah, yes. Perfectly stated. 6.5 liters of V12 power, 769 horsepower. All-wheel drive, seven-speed, paddle-shifted transmission. And look at that rear end with those exhaust wow. outlets. And the engine right under that glass. Oh, my goodness. $700,000. We're not even halfway done yet, Scott. Yeah. There it is. 2022 Lamborghini in the books. Look at that guy. He could not be happier. Yeah. What a car and what a moment. $700,000. Okay, that's going to do it for this edition of Meekum Accelerated. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Scott Hoke. So long from Las Vegas.